find the loops. Camlins, please make some fucking noise. I'm your host, Blasphemy. Shout out to our sponsors, Where It's At Entertainment and Caribou Brewing. Got the co-host to my right. Yo, what up? It's JDK nonstop. Camlins, you ready for this fucking main event? Make some noise! So, that being said, rapper to my left, introduce yourself. It's Stevie motherfucking P. I'm ill with it. Your mom's fat as fuck, but I still yeah, hit it. You want to know why? Because it makes me feel like, like a, a fucking big, big man. man. Let's go. Yeah. Battler, yeah. to my yeah. right. Tell him who you are. Ruthless, your mama's favorite white boy. I want to give a shout out to Thompson Caribou Concentrates for some of the best dabs. And also a yeah. quick shout out to Brooklyn from Winnipeg's most. Rest in peace. Mm. And uh, just a little quick intro as well. I'm known as a sick spitter. His mom's fat, but I still did her. You want to know why? Because Stevie ain't the only fucking dude who's a big man. Yeah. So she made you a quick dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You know I'm not <laughs> We got this shit going early. We've already figured out who's going first. It is round one on Stevie P as soon as he's ready. Camlins, please hold it down. This is your main fucking event. Yeah. It's time to play the villain again. Shit, I play the villain again a lot. I'm what's real, you're what's not. This isn't your shot. This is a free trip in hotel, so I can dip from my spot and give y'all some props. This is a piece of cake. Murdering this bag, it's just the fucking icing on top. And I haven't choked in years. So taking that choke rope ain't a smart angle. It's the archangel with a dark halo pulling you apart by the seams till your heart dangles. Bar razor. Y'all put an art major against a stargazer with the most basic of bars. I'm far greater. Spit like a sharp razor. Leave them with more large craters than a fucking acre on Mars. Oh, wait. You're probably going to say I lost the Sully or I'm old, A. Eh? No way, bitch. I've been doing this since 08. Back when Kanye was digging in soul crates. Before you even rap, I made the globe shape. Styles hand, or I made the globe shape. Shake. Styles handcrafted, homemade, and I'm still half underground like an Easter Island stone shape. See, people like you say life's an old bitch and they have issues with abandonment. But from my view, that old bitch still look good like she Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. give him that one. Yeah. You. See, the difference between me and you is I work for myself, make my own hours, and smoke joints on my break. You make someone else money and bust your fucking back to the point that it breaks. Yeah. And that shit you said about Ren's dead family? That shit was tragic and forced. That battle was a 3-2 decision. You lost because that's not a fucking act I endorse. Maybe when one of your family members gets found, cold as stone from the fact it's a corpse, you might actually show a little compassion and fucking have some remorse. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking spineless little weasel. Complicated gave you that angle and you ran with it and did it up. I guess you thought if you used somebody else's angles, you might actually fucking win for once. <laughs> You ain't ruthless, bitch, you're nuts. Give it up, that's a pot you would never stir. I guess you're the Bernstein Bears name. Why? Because everyone remembers you for something that you never were. Time. Time. Round one, ruthless, let's get it. I'm like, finally, Uncle Peppers is spending time with me. I asked for this battle six months ago, and that shit is a fact. But for some reason, little Steven thought it'd be better if he battled with Patch. But then you even lost to Sully, which is kind of depressing. You're like that senior in high school who gets beat up by the freshman. <laughs> but this time, I'm going to save the lecture there, Mr. Peppers, because it won't take much effort for me to beat this heifer unless he gets better, which I won't give him credit because you've been in the same old spot since 2011. See, Steve, it's a simple lesson. All you had to do was show progression. But now I guess I gotta step on Peppers for y'all to get my message. Doesn't take much for me to break Steve into sections cause he gets walked on by rappers like an intersection. Watch as I intercept him like an interception. You claim rap is your drug, consider this your intervention. See when I rap, people say that I am interesting. You're a fat slob, we can tell that you are into resting. <laughs> See, I got an anger like Thor. Watch as I release my thunder. I'm about to eat all of your food, I'll make Stevie hunger. You know I bring that heat and I ain't talking summer when I hit you with so many shots you can't see, I'll make Stevie wonder. Whoa. See, I've already won this battle, there's no need for talking. I could put this retarded bitch back in his chair and call him Stephen Hawkins. You think you're an alcoholic with those cans you're popping? I'm gonna kill you using 316 since you wanna be Steve Austin. Whoa. 
And compared to most cats in their city, Steve's trash. You couldn't be the MVP of Van if you were Steve Nash. And standing next to me, you shouldn't be rapping at all. I prove you ain't that hard to kill, bitch. You're Steven Seagal. And Steven, I heard your hose hole opens wide. It's the older kind that's filled with mold and slime. Steven doesn't care when he goes to dine. In fact, he loves the smell. He calls it Scotian pride. <laughs> Round two, Stevie P, let's get it. You use the exact same schemes as Wildcard and Sully. You're a dirty whore. You fucking rhymed Stevie Wonder and Stevie Hawking. Fuck, I never heard these before. You're fucking ruthless, eh? Aren't you? Yeah. You're fucking ruthless. I bet you fucking start your day with Chardonnay. <laughs> wake up. Wake up. Work out your arms and legs. <laughs> fucking brush your teeth with large grenades. <laughs> you fuck it. You walk outside, step exactly where the garden lays, walk to work the hardest way, then probably fucking punch, punch the crossing guard for listening to Marvin Gaye. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you're Marvin fucking Gaye. ruthless, eh? I bet you're up in the fucking grocery store just shin kicking old ladies to get to the shit tickets. <laughs> <laughs> probably fucking murder your own mother if she reached for the last batch of that skinned chicken. <laughs> Just listen. He is ruthless as fuck. This is what I'm trying to tell you. He will eat that chicken raw. He's more ruthless than Simonella. <laughs> you ruthless fucking bastard. Yeah, right. You're about as ruthless as honor classes. I'm more ruthless than college blastings. I'll rip your head off your spine. Use it for soccer practice. I've been here lots of years. I make money, profiteer. You bottom tier? You just ride fast like an auctioneer, but say nothing like a mime in a box that's clear. Oh. You're getting bodied yeah. here, sizzle tits. <laughs> <laughs> if you died tomorrow, I wouldn't give a shit. I don't like you even a little bit. I would rather hang out with the retarded inbred kid from Deliverance. <laughs> right. I got Mars bars. They're out this world. That's the crazy truth. Been paying dues. How you gonna step to Mr. Big Man bars when you're just a fucking baby, Ruth? I was painted long ago. I'm still in the same picture. I go against the grain. I move sideways, reptilian shapeshifter. I don't chase liquor. I make scriptures that'll leave your fucking face blistered. I'm a great hitter, mixed with the right price like the Jays pitcher. So you're going to see sun stay a long time like a late winter. And since you play slow pitch, Let's play hardball. Welcome to the major leagues. I do this for the love of the game. You're just a bench warmer. Go ahead and chase the dream. Basically, there's a runner on third, and you're on your last out, so I'm betting that you won't steal. And even if you do, this quick pitch will turn him to an angel in the outfield. Oh. Yeah. These verses fire. Swear I took the roof out your name because you're looking like less now, and we haven't even touched on your obsession with Scotia or your girl. But don't worry, we'll get to that in the next round. Uh, yeah. Sam! Yo, make some fucking noise, yo! Yeah. Round two, ruthless, let's get it. You said in softball I'm a bench warmer? Well, I'm a home run hitter when I step to the plate. See, I don't even own a cow, but I'm still raising the stakes. If he, if he says that he's got... If he says that he's got beef, well, then he's made a mistake. No, I said, if he said that he's got beef, it's because he's made me a steak. <laughs> See, I don't even like your food, but I'm still cleaning your plate. I'll put your whole circle inside a box like a child playing with shapes. He hasn't even hit evolution yet. This man is an ape. He claims he's a blue-collared Canadian. I guess this man is a grape. But wait, <laughs> next round like Shang Tsung, you'll be stealing my fate. That or your gonna five only judges will say I got raped. Well, if you want to act tough like Ricky Bobby, I'll prove this man is a fake because I will break your fucking arm if you don't say you love crepes. <laughs> say you love crepes, Steven. I fucking love crepes. <laughs> he lives his life stuck in his shithole. Call that constipate. And you get fucked by most of the judges. Call that constant rape. We should stop looking you battles. You're a constant waste. You'd have a better chance winning buying bars that Caustic made. Instead, he chokes when he raps. Like he forgot his brain. See, my drive's non-stop. Like I forgot my brakes. I only came to Kamloops so I could stake my claim and make sure none of these judges fucking state your name. And I... Oh, what's the next bar? Fuck. <laughs> When it, all this talk about putting me in a body bag is going straight to this dude's head. I'll stick him in the same bag that I left mongers. You can call it a bunk bed. All it takes is one shot to this punk's head. Like, Mike, his shirt will be stained red. I ain't referencing Mr. Clean when I say I'm off the floor with this dude's head. <clears throat> Time! Round three, Stevie B, let's get it. You're talking about being a home run hitter, but that's not the right flight. 
hitting a home run in slow pitch is like drawing a picture on Life Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this a lifetime, so it's nothing to beat this faggot to death. Every time I spin, I move forward. That's the Magnus effect. Every page is correct like I was acing a test. You're an unintentive, bug-infested, ugly peasant. Forgotten seconds, dumb, pre dumb pretentious, fucking poster boy for drug prevention. <laughs> you want to be Scotian so bad. You love what we're repping. You bite Pat all the time, but can't fuck with a legend. First you battle Jay, now you want to battle me? Fuck, Sean, I think the Scotia thing's become an obsession. I bet you got a tattoo of a lobster. <laughs> Eat don't airs and think the West Coast is not where it ends. And don't fucking lie. I bet you talk like, hey, you want to go down there by the bay bye? When you fucking talk to your friends. <laughs> Speaking of friends, Fuck Kimberly Swanson, her existence is dog shit. If you were looking for a whore, mission accomplished. <laughs> her slit is a closet. What it can fit is obnoxious, and inside of it, she puts pictures of caustic. <laughs> oh my God. I admit, it's a problem. The mist, it is toxic. It's an endless abyss you can't get to the bottom. If I had the choice to fuck her or stick my dick in a socket, <laughs> I'm probably picking the option that leaves me stiff in a coffin. <laughs> And people say I ain't animated. That's where I draw the line. Every brush stroke is impeccably ill. I got incredible skill. So in Van City, I stack bodies like fentanyl pills. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You bitch and whine every battle. Your actions show your back doesn't have a bone. This is Stevie 12.0. I'm past this clone. Even Mr. Robot couldn't crack this code. Wow. I'm the last original member. Call me Axel Rose, I'm after gold. These rounds hurt him like he's passing stones because he's a gas station coffee. He's an average Joe. Oh. What? Yeah. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Your career's already done. I'm surprised you can even stand without a damn IV. Try that tough talk, you're going to see these hands fly free because me and my boys traveled to see a dead body. Stand by me. Oh. Oh. You did good against Jay, started right where you left it with Patch, and honestly, Roof, I respect you for that. Psych, at best you are trash. <laughs> I suggest you relax, I ain't impressed by your act. I already won at life. I got a company, a family, I'm the man you will never become. This is a Civil War reenactment, because this battle was over before it ever begun. <laughs> oh, nice. ah, <laughs> round three on Roof, let's get it. Try to flip, I guess. You try to make fun of the girl that I love, but you're eating salmon daily because you dating a chug. <laughs> You've been doing this for a decade, Steven, and you still haven't progressed. Now it makes sense why you're always fucking looking depressed. He claims he battled me, Paige. Like what, does that make you some kind of hero? You battled vocab on King of the Dot before there was a Ground Zero. <laughs> and I'd hate to be the guy to take a shot at your pride, but earlier this year you had a battle drop in PY. So what that technically means is, you went from KOTD, you got sent to GZ, then you got put in this league and you're fucking battling me. <laughs> so please, Steven, tell me how I'm not on your level. They call me Rufus, but tonight you've earned a dance with the devil, like Hansel and Gretel. I'm here to put you back in the kettle. I'm fast like Toretto, but came to carve your ass like Geppetto. And see, Steve, we can go bar for bar squid, but once I barge in with these bars, I will not bargain. I embark into these bars. That's how I bark, kids. It's ironic we're in a bar and I have to bar him. <laughs> now, See, Steve, that's how bars go. Your bar's old. I'm a new number, a bar code. My bar's dope. I could wash you like bard soap. Biggest difference between our bars is I've proven my bar's flow. And when it comes to his rap career, that shit is actually hopeless. I don't know how this man hasn't noticed. You were handed an omen when you got sent down to PY and got fucking manhandled by omen. <laughs> then you had a shot in the Grand Prix. But this man had to blow it. Well, Kander would own it. Now Steven has to learn to can his emotions. You want to know what rhymes with can your emotions? Steven, why don't you get doper opponents? I don't know if you noticed, but I said your fucking rap career is hopeless. See, I'm on the way up, and you're on the way down, so you can forget about the past, Steven, because I'm passing you now. In fact, in Smoked Out, we like to pass you around, and after this battle, we'll have a drink, I'll probably pass you around. And see, I only came to Kamloops so I could catch this body and take a leap over Steve like a senior froggy. <laughs> Kamloops bar. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Time, make some noise for that battle, yo! Yeah. That's his promo.
I thought that first so the round real winner of that battle is, is of course, Crepes. Crepes for the win. But fuck Montreal.